welcome back. We gotta talk. We're bringing the thumos today, brothers. And let me tell you, this is what I've noticed. It's an epidemic amongst men. Men are backing out way too soon. They're backing out with women. They're sitting around waiting, waiting for things to happen. They're backing out in their work and their career with their creative endeavors. They're backing out with anything like they're trying for the, you know, anything, dude. They're not having that ability to sort of hang in the pocket, you know, clinch up, take a few blows to the liver. Boom, boom, boom. They're backing out. Something doesn't go in, go their way. They get emotional. They back out. Let me tell you this story. This happened last night. It's an amazing story. In our high thumos group, we had our brother. We had everyone on this. It was like a heavy artillery strike. We had all the men coming in. And this guy sends this girl a text on Valentine's Day. We're telling him, listen, bro, you're talking to this girl on Valentine's Day. She ain't doing shit. She's at the library, she responds. I'm at the library. And he had sent, uh, let's, you know, let's hang out tonight. She's like, well, I'm at the library. So he hears this and he's like, oh, well, she doesn't want to hang out. So in his mind, he tells, I think I'm just going to ignore her. And we're like, bro, no, dude. This is not what you need to do. Stay in there. Hang in the pocket. So one of our guys, a famous general by the name of Fabian, he says, tell her, Great, I'll see you tonight. And he's like, are you sure I should send this? We're like, dude, send it, hang in the pocket. So he sends it, next thing you know, she's like, ha ha, all right, bada bing, bada boom. Next thing you know, she's over his place. I'm gonna end the story there, okay? Do you see the power just by hanging in the freaking pocket, dude? Not backing out so quickly? So many guys, they don't get their way. They get a maybe response that's a little uncertain. Maybe they say something that's a little bit edgy and the girl comes back at them, they instantly back down. Dude, you gotta be ready for these responses. All right, you gotta be ready. You think this is gonna be easy? No, it's never easy, but you're a freaking man. You gotta hang in there. Like you're missing out on so many opportunities because you're being a little bitch. I was had my jujitsu competition a couple weeks ago. This is the first time where I, I actually understood how people could break in a fight. I'm two and a half minutes in. I'm on the bottom. I'm actually in a bad spot. I'm like, I look at the clock. I'm like, I'm going to lose this. Right then and there, something went through my mind. Like, I'm tired. I, I don't know if I can do this. Should I just accept this position? And no. No, I'm like, fuck that, man. I can't lose this. I can't lose this. I got I to gotta win this match. Like, let's go. Something turned on because I didn't back down from that feeling. I looked at it, I embraced it, and I made a decision, I'm going to fight my hardest. I'm going to put my heart into this. I'm not going to back out. Next thing you know, I end up sweeping the guy, coming up for an arm lock. In the moment, I don't even know how the hell I did it. I had to watch the tape. Like, I don't even do that normally. Something just clicked, man. The Mew showed up, the Thumos kicked in. I didn't back out, I accepted it. I went forward into that. When I was doing sales in car, you think, you think you're going to be a good salesman if you back out as soon as someone gives you an objection? No. Um, okay, here's sir, here's your numbers. Um, you know, that's a little bit too steep for me. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave now. I'm gonna go check out the um the dealership across the street. <laughs> okay. All right, well, you know, I'll be calling you in a few days, sir. No. This is how I would handle it. All right, sir, I understand. I understand. Let me ask you this question. On a scale of one to ten, ten being you you know, you want this car, you'll buy it today, one being you care nothing for it, where are we? Give me, an, give me an idea of where we're at. Well, you know, honestly, I'm about a seven. I'm about an eight. But I just, you know, I need, like, I need to be $20 less. Boom. There I go. I get my answer. That was a great closing technique. But you, do you think for a moment that you're going to get anything done in this world if you just back out, if you can't hang in the pocket? Again, so many guys are fearful and afraid. They get a little boost of confidence from all their YouTubers that they watch, all this motivation. They're waiting for the music to pump them up and get in a state so they can approach a girl so that they can do something. You know, dude, most guys ain't doing shit, man. And let me tell you, you go in, you make an effort, and then as moment you come up against some objection or a bit of uncertainty or awkwardness, you leave. You don't hang in the pocket. You don't let the tension build. And what you're doing by that is you're not allowing yourself to get in good relationships and have successful wins. And it's a damn shame. You got to scoop your freaking nuts, man. 
And I'm telling you, so many guys do this. They get emotional. They get mad. They, that's how, you know, that's a dark road to go down. That's the road to hell because you start getting angry because you're not angry at the other people. You're angry at yourself because you couldn't hang in there. You're angry at yourself because you didn't have the heart. You didn't have the courage to keep going even when things got tough. So you get angry, you start blaming people, you start looking at other couples that are in love, you say, oh man, I wish that was me. It could be you, but you're being a little bitch. So you gotta stop being like this. You gotta scoop your freaking nuts. That's all I gotta tell you guys. I'm telling you, it was amazing what happened last night in our group. We had everyone on board, everyone sharing advice. We were celebrating. We were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! We were all partying, man. Everyone's having fun. We're lifting this guy up. We, get, we love to see another brother win. And it can happen. But so many guys are backing out. The moment they don't get the response they want, oh, I'm going to ignore this chick. Oh, I'm not going to make the sale. Oh, I'm going to give up. I'm not going to show up. Times are tough. Shut the fuck up, man. All right? We're going in. That's it. Hang in the pocket. Clinch up a bit. Talk to you soon. Peace.